What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hey guys, my name is Danielle, known here on YouTube as Danielle Marie. Um, to make myself different, because there's like thousands of Danielle Marie's out there when you type in the little search bar, uh, I made it Danny's Beautiful Life. I'm not going to change my name to Danny's Beautiful Life because I like using my name, but um, Danny's Beautiful Life Beauty with the Y. Um, thought that I would do this tag. This is my first tag video, and I thought I would do it just so you can get to know me a little bit, you know, because, I don't know. I mean, pretty sure you kind of know me already by now if you watch my vlogs, but um, I just thought I'd do a tag video, and I thought I'd start with the TMI tag because, I don't know, I just thought I would. I actually have watched a lot of these tag videos, but I think I was kind of tagged. I kind of invited myself to be tagged by Fibro Mom here on YouTube. Um, so, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so awkward. Okay, so I'm just gonna start because I don't want this freaking video to be like 50 hours long. Number one, what are you wearing? Um, I'm wearing a shirt that I just got. Look it, still has the tags on it. Wasn't really planning on telling you that, but I did cheat a little bit. I got my computer here. I did cheat a little bit. <laughs> And uh, I knew it was going to ask about the bottoms, so I did put some black sweatpants on versus my grubby green sweatpants that you don't want to see. We'll save those for the private time. Um, okay, ever been in love? Yes, I am in love currently, and I am in love with my husband. We have been together since 98. We have been married for 13 years, and um, we have... Well, we had three beautiful children. We have two beautiful boys. Our second son passed away um, when he was a baby. So I always say that I have three children, but I, because no matter what, I'm always in love with my children. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter whether they're here or there. It don't matter. He's still my child. So I have three beautiful boys and um, I'm in love with them too. So, and I'm in love with all my, you know what? I'm in love with the law, but let's just keep it at that. Number three, ever have a terrible breakup? Um, yeah, but you know, I, I would say my terrible breakup, I'm just going to be real here. I think I broke a lot of hearts back in the day. I didn't really get broken up with. Um, but me and my, when me and my husband, which we weren't married at the time, but when we were still like in the dating process, when we broke up, it was terrible because I loved him so much and he was like the only person who I like, you know, just loved, you know what I mean? And so that like killed me when we did, when we broke up for the, you know, when we did like way back, like I'm talking way back. It didn't last very long, but you know, anyway. Um, Number four, how tall are you? I am five, four. Yes, five, four. Number five, how much do you weigh? Honestly, I have no clue because I don't believe in scales. Um, I was very small my whole life, like literally small, like just to put it into perspective, like after my third child, I was 106 pounds. But um, with my chronic illnesses, it's really hard to, in my life, it's just hard to, I'm very exercise intolerant and a lot of people might not, might not understand that, but I'm just not able to do what I need to do in order to get down to the weight that I would like to be at. So I just want to be comfortable in my own body, which means no scale. I just want to just live my life, try to be as healthy as I can be, walk as much as I can, you know, do what I can, and just not focus on that in life. You know what I mean? Because it's really not about the number as much as it is about the, the, um, your health. That, that's just how I'm. So don't know. Don't know. Um, any tattoos? Yes, I do. I have one on my back that I'm not gonna show you because that would mean I would have to lift my shirt up here on YouTube and you know, <laughs> not gonna do that. But I do, I will show you the one right here, which is a star and then a J. 
Um, this tattoo is I got after my son passed away. His name was James Robert Clark, so I put a big J. A star symbolizes him. Um, I'm gonna do a whole separate video uh, someday about my son and his death, and you know what, uh, uh, like the whole thing surrounding that. And so I'll talk more about that in that video. But for right now, just know it's a memorial for my son, and it does have meaning. And then, um, and then hopefully you can see this because I can't see. You can see the tags. It's so embarrassing. Oh my god. Okay. And then there's this one. Hopefully I'm getting that on camera. Um that one is um kind of like for I made that, first of all. Like I had somebody draw that specific thing up for me because um I which I'll go into more in that video as well because right now it's just not the time, but um yeah, it just it's kind of like when I came out of it was like a couple years after he passed away and I just started to feel like um, okay again. You know, like when I thought about him, I didn't feel so heavy. So that kind of was like symbolizing like the light, you know, like <laughs> even though I was really positive through the whole thing, I did go through my own inner demons during, you know, the grieving process. And so that was kind of like coming out of the light. No, it didn't only take two years to grieve my son. I still grieve my son to this day, but, um, you know, that's just when I started to feel like myself again. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, so I'll go into more th into that in another video. The other one's a, a, a weeping iris. I got it when I was 21, and I wanted a flower with no stem, and it was a crackhead who did it, and uh, didn't realize it looked like it was dead at the time, but it looks dead. So we won't be showing you guys that one. Um, any piercings? Yes, I have my ears pretty much pierced. I have double hel helix. I got a couple holes right here. I have a conch piercing, a tragus piercing, and I will be getting another conch soon. Um, and that's it. I've had so many piercings in the past. We're not going to go into that right now. Alf, what? OTP. Oh, is that like a perfect pairing or something? I don't freaking know. I don't pay attention to that kind of crap. I don't know. Honestly, guys, I, I don't really care about that. And so, yeah, I think that's what that, I one true pairing. I think that's what that means, but, hmm, let me think of some things. I can think of some, something like kind of fun. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. Okay, favorite show. My favorite shows, I love Dexter, love that show. Vampire Diaries. Ooh, I love Breaking Bad. That was like my absolute favorite show. I love Better Call Saul. I hope that we see Jesse come back in that character. You guys can see my lights. That is so embarrassing. Hold on. I cannot believe you can see my light right now. Alrighty. There we go. Maybe that's a little better. Anyway, um, Better Call Saul. Um, maybe think some more. Can't think. I love reality TV. I love watching trashy TV. For some reason, it's a good way to escape. I kind of go in and out of watching TV. Sometimes I'm interested, sometimes I'm not. Right now, I'm not so interested. I do love Devious Maids. I don't know, but I, I like so many shows. It's hard to say like my favorite show because I have so many shows that I watch. So many. I, I don't have a favorite. I would say up Breaking Bad this last year. I watched it when the after the whole last episode aired. Like I watched the whole thing and I loved it. It was my favorite show of all time at this point. So I'm gonna say Breaking Bad. Um, favorite bands. Hmm. I don't really listen to bands that that often. I really like. You know, this is the problem. I listen to bands. I don't know the names. I don't know the names of anybody I listen to. I listen to the radio a lot. So they don't always tell you the names. I don't have a favorite. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know my favorite band. And I love music. I just don't know my favorite band. I don't know my favorite band. Sorry. I don't know it. I can't believe I don't know my favorite. Shouldn't I have, like, researched that before or something? Anyway. Something you miss. My son. I miss my son. Of course. I mean, that's just an obvious. He died 10 years ago and, you know, like, if, I mean, I miss, you know, my family and everything too because they're like in Europe, but that just comes to my mind. I wish he was here with us, you know, celebrating and living life. Favorite song? <laughs> really? Really? 
I, I can't. I just can't. I don't have a favorite so I love so many songs. I can't even tell you the names of the songs I love. I love Drunken Love by Beyonce. I love... Uh, this is... I don't usually like Selena Gomez, to be honest with you, but I love The Heart Wants What It Wants. And the first time I saw her perform that song, she was on stage and she was so filled with like... You know, like she just thought she was thinking about Justin <laughs> Bieber. I'm kind of a believer. Is that bad? I'm a mom. Can't believe I said that. Can't believe I said that on YouTube. I don't have a CD or anything like that, but there's just something. I don't know. But that's not my favorite song. I really like hip hop music and R&B music um, and like uh, alternative music. So, and reggae. I like those genres. How old are you? I am 35. I will be 36 in December. December 5th. Zodiac sign. I'm Sagittarius. Does that tell you anything? Quality you look for in a partner. Um, I look for um, someone who's committed, willing to grow as a person. Someone who is confident but not egotistic. Somebody who loves hard. I know that's a lot of qualities, but... Those are the qualities that I like, and I have it in my man, so we're good. Favorite actor. Oh, my God. Really? Are you kidding me? I don't, I don't pay attention to favorite. I don't have a favorite because I don't. But I probably do. But I don't know. You know, you know when you watch so much TV, it's like, I don't know, guys. I, at this point, I don't, I don't have one, so... So bad I don't even have a favorite actor I just don't care I don't care about that kind of stuff I love watching TV and stuff but I don't like I'm just trying to think of somebody who I love their work and huh let me think for a second I feel like even if I did have a favorite actor I wouldn't know their name <laughs> so any my favorite color uh, my favorite color is green. Like, I love all green, but my favorite, favorite color is, like, grass green. Grass green. Loud music or soft music? Um, it depends. I don't like really loud. The only time I like to listen to loud music is when I'm not, like, overly sensitive and, <laughs> like, my senses aren't, like, rawr, you know? Like, if I'm really, like, overstimulated, loud music just... It's like a cluster in my head, so I don't like it. I like soft music then, but my favorite time to listen to loud music is like when I'm cleaning, when I just feel like getting pumped up for something, you know what I mean? Like, or like when I'm in the car by myself and, and, uh, there's not a lot of noise going on with the kids and stuff. Like I like listening to loud music. And where do you go when you're sad? Well, when I'm sad... I do like to go try to make myself happy. So usually, well, I'm so busy every day, like taking care of the kids that it kind of like, it'll get me out of it anyway. But if I'm feeling sad for a particular reason, which honestly isn't very often, I will go for a walk. I'll, and if it's hot outside, I will pick the kids up and go do something that will get my mind off of it if I'm feeling really sad like when I'm down in the dumps and I'm just like damn like life is shitty right now I'll definitely take my ass out for a walk and like make myself do those things you know what I mean because walking and stuff really clears my mind how long does it take you to shower um it depends if I'm just taking one and I don't have to wash my hair, it literally takes me like seconds. I just wash my body, get out, boom, done. But if I have to wash my hair and like shave my face and shave my body and like do all that stuff and do my mat, um, hair on my hair on my mask, mask on my hair and like I really take my time like to deep, deep, deep clean. Um, that takes me, I'd say probably takes me 10 to 15 minutes. I don't, I'm not one to like sit in the shower and like, ooh, like, ooh, this feels so good, like, ooh. No, I go in there, get my business done, get out. That's what I do. No messing around. Don't have time. Ever been in a physical fight? Yes, but it wasn't like, hey, what you looking at? I don't know, what you looking at? You want to fight? It wasn't like that or anything. It was like, 
with a friend and we were it was like a friend where I had like a lot of like you know, like we were like had a lot had a lot of animosity towards her but this is when I was like younger and uh, we were like pretending like we were play fighting but then it turned into a little bit more and I was not play fighting anymore that's the only time I did get into like verbal arguments but you know I'm more of a lover turn on didn't I just answer that um, a turn on. I can't say my true turn on on YouTube. So let's go with the different turn on. <laughs> um, somebody who's patient with me and sensitive with me and uh, like outside of the bedroom. These are the things I'm talking about and someone who is just adoring of me. If somebody adores me, that's a turn on. Okay, turn off, ego, ugh. Like somebody who, like I like confidence, but I don't like when you're like, yeah, you're so cool, <laughs> I'm bad. You know, like look at me, I'm so hot, you know. I just, I cannot stand that, I don't, I don't know. It's not my thing. Um, the reason I joined YouTube. I have been wanting to do YouTube forever. Well, forever meaning like, I'd say two years. I, I'm ill, like I'm chronically ill, so I am down a lot and TV gets hella boring. Started watching YouTube and like I said, I've always been obsessed with beauty and you know, it, was, it became an outlet for me to watch it, and I just admired it, the, the the art of it, you know. I joined YouTube because I want to inspire people. I feel like I have a lot to give because of my circumstances, and I have a beautiful family, and I love animals. I have reptiles and blah, 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 dogs and turtles, and, and I just feel like I have a lot to give, give. So my reason for joining YouTube was to inspire people, to leave my footprint on this earth. But my main goal here is to share my life with you. I didn't have any equipment, literally. Like I didn't have a camera, I didn't have a computer, I had no clue how to edit, I had no clue how to do anything. And so when Christmas came along, I sold a piece of jewelry and I was like, hmm, what could I do with that money? And I'm like, I finally, like I'm, well, I kind of wanted to do it. I've been, like I said, I've been wanting to do it for a long time, but I had the opportunity. I wanted to do it right. I wasn't the type of person to where I wasn't gonna do it right. So I bought myself a beauty camera, I bought myself a vlog camera, I bought myself a computer, I bought myself the proper lighting, I bought myself almost everything. I have a few more things that I need, but um, I felt comfortable enough to start it. So it started with a vlogging camera and then I kind of worked my way up and oh yeah, editing, like I had to learn everything you guys, like I knew nothing. Like the first day I vlogged is the first day I learned how to edit, okay? Like nothing. So I've just, you know, I learned on my own. I watched YouTube, I watched how to edit, I watched about cameras, I watched about everything. I just did something to learn and I started. Fears. Dying. Dying is a huge fear of mine. And it's, or my children dying, or my husband dying. The reason why it's a fear of mine, like if I was to, is not because I'm afraid of dying. It's for my family. Like I just, I would never, I know what grief feels like, you know, and I just would never want that. Uh, I make sure that my children know that uh, even if anything ever happens, like, cause they talk about it. Kids talk about that kind of stuff. And I just let them know I'm always with you, always, 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 you know, like always, it doesn't matter if I'm here, you know, I'll always be with you and, you know, and I always give them permission to love again and, uh, yeah, like, but that, I don't just come out and say that, you know, if they talk about it and then of course, like I, I lost a child, so I fear that like big time. That's a huge fear of mine and I don't want my man to go. I love my husband and, you know, he's my other hand and. I just, I would be lost in this world, honestly. Like, I wouldn't be able to handle it if he wasn't here. So I'm getting depressed and flushed at this moment. So we're just gonna stop talking about our fears and move the hell on. Um, last thing that made you cry. Huh, let me think here. 
I think the last thing that made me cry was James's anniversary, which was April 24th. I think I cried that day. Yeah, that's the last thing that made me cry. And I, yeah, I don't cry very often. Last time you said you love somebody, just this morning? Yeah, just this morning to my husband. Meaning behind your YouTube name? Oh, well, it's my name, Danielle Marie. And then Danny's Beautiful Life, I already told you. Danny's my nickname, Beauty for Beautiful, and then also Beauty Life stuff, and then Full, because I'm full in life, and yeah, that's that. Last book you read. I read Shannon Rose's book, uh, Lessons Between the Lines. That is the last book I read, and I loved it. And I just have to tell you guys something real quick. This is funny. Last year, was it last year? Yeah, my, my son's fifth grade. He had to do like a book or something like that, like a, you know, about your mom, about your family book or whatever. And we were at the open house reading, and first was my page, and you know, it said everything I liked, you know, favorite color, blah, blah, blah. And then it said favorite book. And my favorite book was Fifty Shades of Grey. Because literally that's like the last book I read. He had no clue about like what the content was or anything like that. And then we flipped the page. <laughs> and it's my husband's stuff, you know. And then I go down to the, we get down to the book. And it's like favorite book. And it's all the Bible. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just can't even, it's just, it's too much. Anyway, Shannon Rose's book, and I really liked it. It's a really good book. You guys should read it. It's just really inspirational, and she does an amazing job at writing it. It's really easy to read, um, and you just get a really good sense of her, and I love how she did, like, the lessons that she learned because it just shows that she doesn't live in regret that she moves forward and learns lessons, and that's exactly how I am. And I will. Last show you watched. I just watched Devious Maids. Last person you talked to, my son. I just told my sons, I'm filming a video. Leave me alone. The relationship between you and the person you last texted, my husband. Um, favorite food? At the moment, my favorite food is toast with smashed avocado, a tad bit of mayonnaise, seasoned salt, and then these Komodo, Komodo, Mutu tomatoes. They're like out right now. They're like kind of greenish reddish and they're a little harder and I just slice them and put it on. Oh my goodness. It's like bomb. But that's my last. That's I mean that's my favorite food right now. Um, place you want to visit. I really want to go to somewhere beachy like but secluded. I don't want there to be tons of people. I really want to take my kids. I want to take my kids to the beach somewhere nice like that. What's up? I don't want to be in it. No, just, uh, this is my son. There's Katie. Hey. You doing question and answer? I'm doing TMI tag. Yeah, I want to go to um, somewhere beachy that's not, or that's not a real, like, somewhere green, blue oceans. I want to take these boys somewhere. I want to go to Hawaii. He wants to go to Hawaii. So that's probably where we'll be going. Okay. Do you have a crush? My husband. And my son, I have a, I have a, I have a family crush. Do you have a crush? He can't say his crush, guys. No, I actually don't. I it's don't too much one. information. Last time you kissed someone, I kissed somebody this morning. Yeah, because I didn't just kiss him, I don't think. Did I just kiss you? Yeah. Here, come here. Give me, let me, give me your cheek. Now. <laughs> no. I just kissed him. <laughs> Kaden is the last person I kiss. Last time you were insulted. Last ins night. You know what? I was insulted this morning, and I'm not going to tell you why. Last, last night. Why were you insulted last night? Because everybody keeps saying that I keep calling these girls back. Still? Yeah. Come here and plead know. your case right now. Everybody keeps saying that I'm calling these two girls fat, ugly bitches. And it is not true. <laughs> Do you hear me? And it's a rumor. This boy is far from ever saying anything like, like that to like, anybody. They say their cousin Kyle told them. I have no idea who Kyle is. So how would they even... They, they're pretty much jealous of him, and they're just wanting to make up crap to make him look bad. And that's just... You need to knock it off, kiddos. Yeah, and they both Seriously. love me. You don't want Mama they Bear both love me. coming out there and... I'm, not, I'm just kidding. I can't do that. Uh, oh, both the people love them. That's why. They're catfighting over. Okay. Favorite flavor of sweet. Oh, 
I love sour. Godstoppers. He loves Godstoppers. I love sugary stuff like that. Like, uh, I love right now my favorite things. What are they called? Uh, high chews. High chews. But the strawberry ones are only ones I like. But I like really soury stuff. It just depends on my mood, honestly. What instruments do you play? Absolutely my mouth. That's what I play. What about you? What instrument do you play? He uses his hands. Yeah, my hands. That's what we do. Um, favorite piece of jewelry? Wedding ring. Did you you just held up the fake middle, middle finger. Mom. I'm faking ya. Anyway, it's my favorite piece of jewelry. Which obvious, which obviously is my wedding ring, which my husband surprised me with. We got to go pick it out in December. He surprised me, and it's pretty much my goat. You know, it's gonna be my forever wedding ring. I got, I got to pick it out. I cried. It took me ten places, guys. Yeah. This was a very last. Well, obviously, it was a very last one. But yeah, this was a very I last knew. one. I knew. Yeah, that he knew that you were gonna get a ring there, and I was like, wow. Yeah, I got it at Shane Co. And what's that Shanko called? Shane Co. On Louisville, or that across from the Auto Mall. On weekdays until eight, Saturday and Sunday till five. Online at shaneco.com. Got it. Last, I'm getting hot because my air's off because it's loud, so I'm Last starting not to feel it. you played? Uh, Lacrosse. I don't play no, sports. No, actually basketball. Basketball, and last sport I played was making gifts for my friends. <laughs> anyway, actually, no, I make art. Last sport so. you did is run, because that's not a sport. I know, I'm just kidding. I'm just trying to make up other things because I don't do sports. I did go run. run. Yeah, that's true. Last thing I did was run walk. Last song you sang, oops, missed this one. The answer, Pearl Jam, even, oh, whoops, I'm reading. <laughs> I'm reading off your thing, Fiber Moss. <laughs> I just read your answer because I'm using your questions. <laughs> anyway, uh, last song that I sang. Gosh. No, mine is. I don't remember. Don't let me have. Don't. First let me have that love potion. Uh -huh. I Anyway, um, I think the la I don't remember you guys. I don't have a really good memory. I mean, literally, I almost forgot his counseling appointment yesterday. Last so. one, the last one I did was nasty freestyle. The last one I did is I have no freaking clue. That's right. My brain does not remember that. Favorite chat up line. Oh my, really? What Are you kidding mean? me? Like favorite like pickup line. Who does pickup lines? Uh, Just go up. I got my, one. I'm sorry. My favorite chat up line. Chat up line is. Hi, my name is, what's your name? Or, hi, my, my name is, it's nice to you? meet you. Not like, hey, baby, your eyes are so pretty. I'd like to see, what? what no, I, no, there's one. Um, you're not in the vlog. Uh, are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. Well, there you go. If you're, oh, no. Oh, Caleb. If you could only see him right now. Okay, no. Just, people, don't do chat up lines. Go up to somebody, just freaking introduce yourself. Like, be a... Grow some cojones and just do it. <laughs> don't like go up and be lame. Seriously, don't be lame. No one does that. Have you them. ever used it? Yeah, yeah I've I went have. up and introduced myself to people before because that's what grown-ups do. No, I've never used mine. Hopefully not. <laughs> mine is how are you? And he's fanning me with my phone right now. That feels good. Last time you hung out with anyone? Right here. I'm hanging out with my son, Caden, right now. Who should answer these questions? Um, everybody. Everybody, because they're awesome. You know what? I tag all my subscribers who have a camera and who do YouTube. Even if you don't, really, you could do it. But I tag everybody who's watching this video. So, I don't freaking know. Just, that's it. I think we're wrapping it. I... So this is the most awkward part for me. So do you want to say goodbye and then hit the road? What do you have to do? I wish I could just leave and not do anything. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want to say bye? I don't know how to say bye correctly. See you guys. All right, guys. GG, bye. Anyway, guys, so that was my TMI tag. Like I said, I tag y'all. Everybody who's watching this damn video, I tag. And I hope you liked it. I hope that you learned a little bit of something about me. You guys, I do vlogs and beauty. I'm going to do tons of different things. I'm going to do parenting stuff and blah, blah, blah. I'm going to do my stuff about videos about my health. I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff. So if you want to see 
all those videos, you're gonna have to subscribe. I already have a crap ton of videos that are in my feed, my YouTube feed. So, you know, if you like me, don't forget to subscribe. Show me, show me you like me, guys. Show me you like me. And uh, if you don't, then just don't worry about it. Like, you know. I always also leave a really cool note in the description box along with other stuff. So if you wanna see what I write, then you gotta go in there. Yeah, so I think that's it, guys. That's it. Just don't forget to subscribe if you loved my video and give it a thumbs up if you liked it and share it because sharing is caring. We all wanna be caring every once in a while. I'm just kidding. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch my video and I will chat at you later. Let's do a chat up line. I'll chat at you later. <laughs> oh my God. Okay guys, I will talk to you. And I will talk to you guys later. Okay. 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 I will talk to you guys later. All right, guys.